Hello and welcome to App Screencast. In this video I'm going to show you an application called Speed Download Lite, which is a download manager for the Mac. You might remember in a previous video I demonstrated another download manager called Leech. And I've been using Leech for quite a few weeks, but I did have a couple of problems with it. One of the problems was when I had a number of downloads queued, it wouldn't always start their queued downloads. And I found an easy fix to this was to just restart Leech and it would then carry on downloading the queued downloads. But another problem I had was if I had maybe 20 downloads listed in Leech, it would uh, maybe get through half of the downloads, then it would abandon the other half. And it did this quite regularly, which were really annoying because I would set it off downloading overnight. Then the next day I was expecting the downloads to all be done, and it would have obviously abandoned half of them, which was a big sticking point. So I had to look at a few alternative applications and I decided to go with Speed Download Lite. So initially when I downloaded the application and started trying it out, I wasn't right keen on the interface, uh, but then I found a few, I did a few different tweaks to it to change the way it looked, to make it a little bit more simpler, and I, prefer, I actually like using it now. But the actual application itself is a really good, really good application, it's got some really good features, it surprised me how good it was actually and it's much better than actually using Leech which we were using before. So with just a few tweaks you can get Speed Download Lite to look something like this, a lot more simpler and um, you might not personally like it to be like this, you might want to have all the extra functions in the sidebar, the search bar along the top and all the categories but I wanted it to just be a lot more simpler, a lot more sleeker looking so, I, so I've changed it to basically fit in with the Mac the way the Mac looks as if it were like native application to the Mac and not a, not, not a third party application as it were but it's up to you, you might want to leave it how, it how it was originally so speed download light works in the same way as your built in download manager in Safari or in Firefox you come across some, you browse on the web, you come across something you wish to download you click the link then um, speed download light will take over and begin to download the actual item instead of in Safari but what makes Speed Download Lite so good it's got a few extra features and I'll demonstrate some of them features now if you've got a load of rapid share links you wish to download it can be a bit of a pain going through them all, clicking them all and the beauty of Speed Download Lite is you can just highlight them all, grab them, drag and drop them and Speed Download Lite will begin to download them but what's great about Speed Download Lite is it will start downloading three, three downloads at a time and it will queue the rest and when, when one of these three have completed it will begin the next one and it will do this till it's completed all the downloads so it's a really good way to download your files and it's, it's a better way than what Safari would do because Safari would just try and download all 20 files or 30 files whatever it is I'm not sure how many we've got here but it looks more than 20 and it would try and download all 20 at once whereas Speed Download Lite will give you the option of queuing them and just do three at a time or four at a time or whatever you decide and you can just change that in preferences, it's really simple just go to preferences and you can choose how many to queue I have it set to three but you can, you can choose any amount you wish and that's a really good way of downloading your items another good feature in Speed Download Lite is if you're ever downloading from RapidShare using Safari if you try and pause the download halfway through or or whenever when you try and re-begin the download Safari will start downloading the actual file from the beginning again instead of carrying on from where it left off where it's speed down old light is you can actually pause download you just click stop and it will pause the download as you can see it's paused it at 40% then when I, begin, when I decide I want to start the download again I just press start and it will carry on from where it left off so that's a really good feature because in rapid share a lot of download managers can't do that whereas obviously speed download light has got that feature built in so that's just a quick demonstration on speed download light um, if you do decide to download you can actually download a trial and if you go to preferences there's a lot more tweaks you can make and there's plugins and so on so there's a lot more to it and I've just gone into a few basic features but the ones I find personally are the most useful so you can get Speed Download Lite from yazsoft.com and there's actually two versions of the actual application there's Speed Download version 5 
and there's the speed download light which the one I use and speed download light is just all about the actual downloading and it's a download manager whereas speed download version 5 has some um, abilities to upload content to the web and I didn't personally need that, that um, feature so I went for the cheaper version which is the speed download light which is just all about downloading from the web and you can actually download it as a trial and give it a go and in my personal opinion it's the best download manager on the Mac unfortunately speed download light isn't a free application it's £12.85 I believe but if you decide you want to try it out it's a 20 day trial I believe or 21 day something like that so it's definitely worth the download and give it a try because it is a pretty good application if you do know of a free alternative then leave a link in the description or make a video response to this. Maybe do a demonstration of the application because I have tried a few free ver free alternatives but I didn't find them, them to be that good and definitely they weren't as good as this application. But if you do know, know of one then please let us know because uh, obviously free is always better. So thanks for watching this video. I hope, I hope it helped and uh, please comment and subscribe. Thanks.